afternoon, my name is Mindy Kistner. I am a licensed clinical social worker and holistic health coach. And I'm here this afternoon to tell you more about the health coaching program at the Rollins County Health Center. Before I get started telling you about the program, I wanna tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, I am a Colorado girl, and about two years ago, I started dating my boyfriend who lives in McDonald. And he said to me, I will move anywhere for the right girl. I said, I love the mountains. I will never move to Kansas. Two years later, I moved to Kansas. And then about three weeks later, we got engaged. So just to let you know a little bit of my background, uh, I am now living in McDonald, Kansas. And that's how I made it to this area. I was very excited to hear about this position because it gives me the perfect opportunity to share my personal passion for helping people get healthy, and it gives me the opportunity to use my clinical skills as a licensed clinical social worker. So I'm able to help people get healthy, overcome bad habits, create new healthy habits, both emotionally and physically. Now, most of the time when I give presentations about new programs, most people are distracted until they hear how much this is going to cost them. So up front, I want to let you know that this program is 100% free for those who are eligible. Rollins County Health Center has partnered with the Kansas Heart and Stroke Collaborative, and through a grant, they're able to uh, cover all of the costs for this program. I used all of my sick days, so I'm calling in dead. Now, I have talked to a lot of people over the years about their health. And once you get past the, I'm fine, I'm okay, I'm good, you really hear the truth that most people want to feel better in some way. Whether that's wanting to sleep better, having less pain in their joints, they want more energy, they want to be stronger, lose weight. Almost everybody would like to feel better in some way. How many of you would not like to feel better in some way? I'm guessing that, uh, that everybody really would like to feel better in some way, and that's where this health coaching comes in for our community. Now, there are some people that really don't struggle with their health throughout their lives, uh, whether that's through genetics or because they're very good at being proactive and taking care of their health. But the honest truth is that um, even the most proactive person, as they reach the later stages of their lives, can get themselves in a position where they're struggling with their health and they're struggling to make progress. There are also people who are very intelligent, but they find themselves in situations where they just don't know what to do about their health. They have multiple complications, or they talk to one medical doctor and they say this, they talk to another doctor and they say that. And so even the most intelligent person can find that they need extra resources or extra support. So what is health coaching? And a metaphor that I like to use is that health coaching is very much like a coach for a sport. How many of you have played a sport or coached a sport? All right, everybody. So I'd like to go ahead and have some participation. What does a coach for a sports team do? Encourages. Encourages. Other ideas? Creates an environment for them to learn. Absolutely. So uh, encourages them to learn, provides resources, teaches them about the sport, those kinds of things. Other ideas? I say they continue to provide motivation to keep going and bettering themselves. Mm -hmm. Motivation, they say this is when team practice is show up. They keep the focus on the goal, which is doing a good job, maybe making it to the state tournament, those kinds of things. And in the same way, that's what a health coach does. My focus is connecting each person with resources, helping them to identify their goals, helping them to stay motivated, uh, providing them with any information that they may need in order to reach their health goal. 
So one of the things I love about this area is the sense of independence and self-reliance. It is truly wonderful. And I think a lot of it is that people really have to rely on that because there aren't really a lot of resources available. And so while this sense of independence and self-reliance is very important, it can also be detrimental in the wrong kind of situation. So let me ask you this. Can you successfully build a house with just a hammer? No. no. I see shaking heads. It's like, well, perhaps you could if you got logs and just kind of put it together and then took mud and spackled it. It would probably look worse than this. You could create some sort of shelter. But really, it would not be a house. And what we found is that those with chronic health struggles, when they use just one tool, that sense of independence, that sense of self-reliance, they find that they are putting forth a lot of effort. They are just trying and trying and trying, but they aren't making the progress with their health that they really would like to have. And so when people are dealing with these kind of chronic health struggles, what we really want them to do is consider that there are more tools out there. And the health coaching program is a tool available to the individuals in your community. This is Richard Branson. He is a billionaire businessman. And this quote by him says, two heads are definitely better than one. And by brainstorming as a team and sourcing ideas from each other, you have a better chance of coming up with a strategy that will allow your business to overcome a setback or a challenge. Just as in business, this is also true when it comes to your health. And that is part of the health coaching. When we work with patients, we encourage patients to work with their entire team. The health coach is able to help the patient so that the primary care provider can talk to a specialist, they can also talk to the diabetic educator, who can talk to the nursing staff and the pharmacist. And in that way, you can use all of the tools in your toolbox to create the help that you would like. Some of the tools that I bring are getting clear about what motivates you. Most people would like to feel better, but they aren't really able to get a sense of what's truly motivating them besides wanting to feel better. So for some people, what really motivates them is wanting to be able to fly across the country to see their granddaughter graduate. Another person would like to manage their COPD so they can go out golfing. And so it's figuring out what motivates you and keeping that at the forefront of your mind so that you can keep that motivation going and make progress. Making a clear plan is very important. Breaking bad habits and making new habits. This is one of those situations and um, topics where my clinical experience as a mental health provider is very helpful. Definitely done a lot of research on how you can successfully break bad habits and introduce new healthy habits. Coordinating your care, like I talked about, uh, when you have multiple care providers, making sure that they're talking and that your care is coordinated. Uh, staying resilient overcoming mental barriers to reaching your health goals, connecting you with resources that are available in the community, reaching your goals, and advocating for what you want. I also have access to diet and exercise consultants that focus on that specifically, so if that's an interest, I am able to connect you with those resources as well. The whole focus of this health coaching program is you as a strong, independent, active, and healthy person. Now there's one goal from Medicare who helps to fund this program, and what they found is that by proactively supporting people with their health, they can help to save money. And so we want all of these things for you, and we also want to help our healthcare system by keeping people healthy on the front end so that they don't have as many health struggles on the back end. 
So one of the big questions is who is eligible? And the first criteria is Rollins County Health Center patients that have Medicare as their insurance. And then the second criteria is that the person must have two chronic health conditions. And so those could be emphysema, COPD, heart failure, heart attack, stroke, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, or diabetes. Uh, this is just a sampling of the health conditions that are eligible. So if you do not have one of these, but you're wondering if you are eligible, I'm more than happy to answer any questions because it really is any two chronic health conditions would make you eligible for this service. One of the wonderful things about this program and how it's designed is that it's designed to be unique to each person so we can meet each person's needs. It's not cookie cutter. So when I meet with each person, we talk about what their individual goals are, what their individual motivations are, and then create, we create a plan around that so each person is able to have an individualized plan. It's, this program is also uh, designed to be as convenient as possible. What they found is, is that if people don't have to come into the office, it's much more convenient. And so I am able to go out and meet with each person in their home to complete the intake. The intake is about an hour long, depending on how much we chat. And then at that intake, what we do is we cover your health history, we talk about your goals, we create a plan for moving forward so that you can meet your goals, and then we talk about how I can support you in meeting your goals. After that, what I do is I follow up with each person over the phone. And in that way, you don't have to worry again about coming into the office, it's very convenient. I'm able to follow up with each person on the phone once, twice, up to four or five times a month, really depending on what each person needs. Some people need much more individual attention, so I might give them a call once a week. Other people only need a call once a month. And so once again, it's a really individualized plan. Something that I am very excited to be able to offer to the community that is going to be coming up in May is a class for patients who have a heart failure diagnosis. And this is going to be a class that is available to patients with heart failure diagnosis and their caregivers. And this class will focus on educating the patient and their caregiver on the medical side of heart failure, so you have a full understanding of what's going on. It also talks about recommendations for self-care, like exercise and diet. And I will be covering topics such as resiliency, how to get through a difficult chronic medical condition and still feel like you're able to maintain your quality of life, maintain your mood, those kinds of things. This program will be free to everybody in the community, so if you know of anybody that would like to participate, please feel free to have them contact me. Are there any questions about the health coaching program or the heart failure class? No questions? Well, I definitely want to uh, make sure that you know that you are free to give me a call. I'm happy to answer any questions about either of the programs, uh, questions about eligibility or about resources in the community, and you can reach me at 785-813-8944, or my 